to the value of x, give me that you have x to the power of 3 minus x squared equals 18. Then let's have it to be solution from here. So when we have x to the power of 3 minus x squared, letting this 18 to here will be minus 18. Then we have everything to be equal to 0. Then from here we have x to the power of 3 minus x squared minus we can have 18 as to be 27 then minus 9 27 minus 9 will give us 18 then here will be equals 0 so from here we have x to the power of 3 minus x square when we open with minus so here will be minus 27 then here will be plus 9 then equals 0 so from here let's have this to be x to the power of 3 minus x square let's have 27 and basically as minus 3 to the power of 3 we give us 27 plus let's have 9 basically as 3 to the power of 2 we give us 9 everything equals 0 then let's group this expression let's take this and this together this has power 3 this has power 3 this has power 2, this has power 2. Let's regroup them. So here will be x to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3. Let's put them as this. Then we also have this to be minus. When we factor minus from here, here will be x to the power of 2. When you multiply with minus, you have this minus back. Then here we will be minus. Plus divided by minus will give us minus. Then 3 to the power of 2 equals 0. Let us recall from the algebraic expression for this first, when we have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 equals as a minus b multiplied by a square plus a b plus b square. We call this difference of two square. We also have a square minus b square. This the difference of two cube. This one is difference of two square because of this part. So this equals as a minus b multiplied by a plus b. So when we do the comparison, we are going to realize that for this and this, we have a to be equals x and b to be equals 3 then let's substitute everything here so we are going to have x minus 3 for this that equivalent to this multiply by x square plus 3x plus 3 square here will be minus outside the whole of this when you apply this one we are going to have it to be x minus 3d, then x plus 3d equals 0. We have x minus 3 in common, so let's factor it out to be x minus 3d. This here divided by this, we are going to have only this one left, x squared plus 3d, x plus 9. And when we have this to divide by this one, we only have this left minus x plus 3 equals 0. So from here we have x minus 3. Here will be x square plus 3x plus 9 minus times x. This will give us minus x. Minus times plus 3, this will give us minus 3, still equals 0. So from here we have x minus 3. Here will be x square minus x plus 3x. Here will be plus 2x plus 9 minus 3, this will give us plus 6 equals 0. For this expression to be equal 0, is either we have x minus 3 to be equal 0 or we have x squared plus 2x 
plus c is to be equals zero. So from here we have x to be equals three. And from here, to get the positive value of x, we can apply the quadratic formula x will be equals minus b, positive or negative root of b squared minus 4 ac divided by 2a, where the parameter a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1, and parameter b is the coefficient of x, which is 2, and c will be equals 6. So when we substitute everything, we have x to be equals b will be minus into plus 2, positive or negative. Here will be root of 2 to the power of 2 minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 6 divided by 2. So from here, we have x to be equals minus 2, positive or negative, root of 4 minus 4 times 6, we give us 24. Divide by 2. So we have x to be equals minus 2, positive or negative, root of 4 minus 24, we give us minus 20, divide by 2, and this will be equals minus 2, positive or negative, as root 20 multiplied by root minus 1, or divide by 2. So from here, we have x to be equals minus 2, positive or negative, root of 4 times 5 times root of minus 1 divided by 2. So we have x to be equals minus 2, positive or negative, root 4, multiplied by root 5, root minus 1 divided by 2. So we have x minus 2 positive or negative, root 4 will give us 2, multiply by root 5, multiply by root of i, root of minus 1, divide by 2. x equals minus 2 divided by 2, positive or negative 2, multiply by root 5, i, divide by 2. X will be minus 2 divided by 2 will give us minus 1, positive or negative, root 5, i, this will divide by this. So from here we have x to be equals 3 and this. So we have this one to be the complex solution and these are the real solution. So we are new here once again, don't forget to share like comment and subscribe to our youtube channel for more mass tutorial videos so you can check we have x to the power of 3 minus x square equals 18 when x equals 3 here will be 3 to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 2 then it's going to give us 18 so, 3 to the power of 2 will give us 27 minus 9. Then, it's going to give us 18. So, from here, 27 minus 9 will give us 18. And this equals 18. So, since the left hand side equals to the right hand side, x equals 3. Satisfy the problem given to us. Bye-bye.